guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I want to show you how I create these custom backgrounds, sort of abstract, without using any custom images myself. So I can't use an image of me in the office or anything like that. I can only create my own background image using Sketch. And so with that said, let's dive into the video. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because we post videos like this daily. And now let's dive into the video. All right, so we're inside of Sketch and we're looking at my uh, one of the background images that I use here um, in my funnel, my course funnel and for my branding in 2021. And uh, I want to show you guys how I create all of these. Uh, you can see that sort of the, the visuals in the background, then the graphics uh, added on top of that and all of that stuff. So if I just first of all, uh, just ungroup this entire artboard. You can see we have a lot of moving parts, right? So we're going to undo that. I'm going to mark all of this um, and also ungroup that. And that way you can see the individual parts here. For an example, this right here is just a rectangle shaped in a, in a different way. So let me show you what I mean by that. In fact, what we'll do is just set up a similar artboard. We're just going to create a similar artboard here, 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 what? Um, there we go. Let's see. We have it to boom. And then background color, we're going to choose the same background color. And now I can't do anything else from there. So I only have this, right? Okay. So let's make it more custom. Let's make it my own. Um, so we stand out, we'll be an original, all of that good stuff. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click this right here and I'm going to add these little waves to this background. So there we go. Sweet. And then we're also going to make it a little bit bigger. Boom. We're going to move it up just like that. I don't know why I keep saying boom when, when I'm doing <laughs> tutorials. Um, okay. So something like that. Then we're going to choose the same background, uh, the color as the, the background, but we're going to go down to shadows and we're going to move that down a little bit, blur it out just like that. And then also remove the opacity a little bit. So maybe something like that. 11, actually a little bit more. We'll do 15. Okay. Now I'm going to click it. I'm going to either, I can go to duplicate or I can just click command C V. And then I'm going to rotate this a little bit and move it here. And then again, same thing. And I'm going to put this something like there. Now I'm going to click uh, shift and O. Sorry, first I'm going to click O. Then I'm going to uh, press and hold down O for an equal circle. I'm, I'm not gonna use the border I'm just gonna fill it I'm gonna use this gradient move this up and I'm sorry if I'm going a little bit quick through this but um, just wanted to show you guys kind of my process um, so this is my you know the branding that I used for this you can see it here uh, what I can do now you see here in the artboard I have the different rectangles so if I want to move this under say there we go. But on top of just move it out one second. Let's not do that. <laughs> there we go. So let's say I want to keep it right there. On a little bit of the boom. There we go. And then I wanted to do maybe the same thing here. And then one more. But this one. Oops. Now you can see this one is not. There we go. Um, let's say this one, I want to have uh, the front so I can just do something like that. Boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Okay. A little bit of shadow to it. I'm just playing around now, but okay. So now what we're going to do, I'm actually going to use one of these as well. <clears throat> Make it super small, rotate it back to the original place. I'm going to use one of these, but instead of fill, I'm going to use the borders. 
So let's say I want to do the same sort of branding. I'll just leave it at this and you'll kind of see uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to zoom in, double click this, and I'm going to delete one of these. Um, change it to something like that. And then I'm also going to rotate this to something like that. You'll see here in a second why I'm doing this. But um, I'm going to create a confetti. So if you don't know what that is, just keep watching and you'll, you'll find out. But um, now that I have these, what I'll do, and I'm also going to do it here. Okay, so now that I have these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark all of these. I'm using a sketch plugin here um, called Confetti, and it's going to generate a confetti. And what that's going to do is going to uh, sort of spread out these different... Um, graphics throughout this artboard so now i have a, a custom um now i have a custom background let's say that i wanted to include different graphics uh, according to my industry and so i could do something like a design whiteboard or a pencil or an ipad or laptop icon i could add, add a bunch of icons in here and generate that uh confetti um but yeah, this is kind of a first draft of a background image, uh, similar to what I had here. You can see um, the only thing I've done is I've added a little bit more of, of these sort of um, images. So these are actually, if you look at it, it's a one color image and you can just upload any image here and just click fill and choose your colors. And it's going to fill that color with uh, whatever um, it's going to fill the image with what, whatever color you want to use. So now what we, what we could do, you just mark everything just like that. Uh, Command G, so it's going to group it, or you can just go up here and group it. Uh, and now I can lower the opacity to, let's say, 30%. So I usually go with like 7%, 15, 30, 50, or 75, or sometimes 95, depending on, uh, you know, what the background is. Uh, but now I could just click artboard, make exportable and boom i have a background image for my funnels all right so that was a little bit of a shorter tutorial um yeah i just wanted to show you a lot of you guys have been asking how i create those custom backgrounds without you using any images from an office space or you know a professional photo shoot so hopefully that helps um it helps you stand out be original with your design and if you like videos like these make sure you smash the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one peace